That's no dinosaur, just a really big snapping turtle. A snapping turtle? Yep, she must be lost and a little scared too. Where are you? I'll snap you. She doesn't seem scared to me. Things aren't always the way they seem, Sam. Snapping turtles feel safest when they're in the water. On land, they're more vulnerable. So they act mean and snap at people. Hey, who's saying that? Kit, look. That algae is covering her eyes. Of course. Snapping turtles often have a lot of algae going on them. This one has so much, she can't see where she's going. There's only one thing to do now. Haircut, Haircut time. time. <clears throat> Excuse us, ma'am. Ah, who's there? Stay back! Easy. We're here to help. <clears throat> help me? How? We noticed that you have some algae growing over your eyes. So what if I do? I mostly live in the water. That's where I'm trying to go now. But I'm lost! We understand. But what if we remove some of that algae for you so you can see where you're going? Get rid of all this algae? I mean, I would like that. We promise not to hurt you. Just try to stay calm. I... I'll try. Sometimes when I'm on land, I get a little snappy. Don't worry. It'll be just like getting a haircut. I've never had a haircut before. Ma'am, we're highly trained in giving haircuts. My partner Sam here is going to take a few steps towards you. What was that? Easy. It's just a twig. Now, Sam's just going to lift up the algae. Hello. And trim it away. Nice and slow. Careful, Sam. Those jaws can take off your finger. Now you tell me. <laughs> Just keep still, ma'am. You're doing great. <laughs> it kind of tickles. I can't hold still much longer. Deep breath. He's almost finished. I can't help it. I'm a snapping turtle. I snap when I feel nervous. Hurry, Sam. Just relax and hold the snap in. I'm trying. Just a little more. Oh. Oh. Hey, thanks! I can see again! And I didn't lose any fingers! Thanks for helping me. Even after all the trouble I caused, I'm not a mean turtle. I, I was just scared. You don't have to worry. We understand what you were feeling. And we're happy we could help. Creature cases! Make way for Oh, Wally Bungler to headquarters. I've arrived on the scene. I repeat, I've arrived on the scene. What do I do now? First things first. Head into the cave and talk to the bats. Right, into the cave. The dark, scary cave. <laughs> Everything all right, Wally? Oh, of course. Everything's fine. Couldn't be better, in fact. <laughs> I'm just a teeny bit afraid of the, the dark. It's true! He still sleeps with a nightlight! Poor dear! Mum! <laughs> Not in front of the Clyde agents! You can do this, Wally. Those bats really need your help. You're right. And it's my duty to help them, even if they do live in a dark, scary cave. Make way for Wally! <laughs> Not so bad in here, is it? <laughs> Good day, citizens. Wally Bungler, Nature Ranger, at your service. Bless <laughs> 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 you, baddies. Sounds like you've got the sniffles. Oh, he just woke up and started sneezing like crazy. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Achoo! A real medical mystery, if ever I've heard one. But what started all the sneezing? Wally. You better search the cave for clues. Righto, searching for clues. Let's see, clues, clues. Ah ha! What did you find, Wally? I found a rock and some moss and another rock. Now you've got to look for clues, Wally. 
Anything out of place or unusual? Or hard to explain? Here's a rock that looks like a duck. Does that count? I can't, I can't, oh, I can't stab this sneezing. Hang on. You've got some funny white gunk on your nose. I do? <laughs> you have white gunk too. You've all got it. But we don't normally have white gunk on our noses. What is it? A clue is what it is. White gunk. I was afraid of this. These bats have white nose syndrome. That white stuff is a fungus that grows on their noses while they're sleeping and makes them sick. Well, that solves that. Oh, I'm pretty good at this mystery business. <laughs> the Creature Cases <laughs> no. Got it. Nice one! <laughs> Copying army ant smell. All done! Ooh, smells anti. Okay, kids, use your pickles to stop the ants and break the circle. You got it! Now I'll make a new trail of ant smell for them to follow back towards their leader. This way! It's working! Look! It's the rest of the ants! Keep marching, soldiers! Now we just wait for the others to follow the smell trail and join the rest of their troop. Here they come! We better get out of their way so we don't get bitten! <gasps> oh no! Sam, I'm stuck! Huh? <sighs> I can't get out! <gasps> don't stop now, soldiers! And the ants are coming right for us! We're gonna get bit all over! <gasps> What are you doing? If we smell like the ants, they'll walk right over us without noticing. But kids will have to stay very still so they don't bite us. Oh, I'm not so good at that. I know, but I'm going to help you. I don't know if I can do this, Sam. Yes, you can. It's simple meditation, Kit. Just keep still. Breathe in. Breathe out. But, Sam, it tickles. Stay focused. <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> Breathe in. You got this, Kit. Breathe out. You did it, Kit. They passed right over you. Oops! What all the leader! And the ants found the rest of their troop. Good to have you back, soldiers. <gasps> the cake! Got it. Yeah! Cases. Mr. Roots, make some noise! Get in here! It's working! Mangled hearts! Keep steering it toward the wall! No! Hey! hey. Uh, okay! Nice your fear! You can do this! It worked! Now, let's see what this sand serpent really is. How's it going, everybody? That's the sand serpent. Sand serpent? Where? Where? Wait, hold on. What's a sand serpent? Of course! Sam, it's a pink fairy armadillo. A pink fairy? Oh, now who's telling tall tales? Hey. Arkab, you know, I'm a pink fairy armadillo. It all adds up. 
pink fairy armadillos have fur, claws for digging, and they're rarely seen above ground. Let me guess. You live over there in the hills. Yep, except when it rains. Then my tunnels fill up with water. Oh, it's terrible. So I come down here. Just like the legend says. But it's not raining now. Why come back to town? Oh, I'm sorry for scaring everyone. But earlier, I tasted the most delicious, amazing fruit I've ever had. And I want more. <laughs> what? He's talking about my melons. No wonder you stuck around. I bet those tasted a lot better than the insects and grubs you usually eat. Ugh, you can say that again. I've never had anything like them. You hear that, folks? I got the only fruit in town that's Pink Fairy Armadillo approved. Oh, yeah. Mr. Root, if our little friend promises not to cause any more trouble, do you think you could give him some melon seeds? <gasps> then I could grow my own melons. <gasps> it's a deal. Thanks. Hasta la vista. That's one more creature case closed. closed. And thanks to you, we all faced our fears. Well, not quite. <laughs> Cases. Looks like you got a little wet there. You okay, Sam? I'm fine. Let's go. <gasps> Kate, look. Uh. What are we looking at? Isn't it obvious, Kit? The leaves on the trees. The first eight feet have been eaten. That's just about the height of a young giraffe with his long tongue sticking out. <gasps> Gordy! He must be close! <laughs> Seriously, Kit, how can you be humming at a time like this? But Sam, I'm not humming. Then who's making that sound? It's a low sound. Really low. Almost as low as... <gasps> a giraffe! Follow that hum! Goody! Did someone say my name? We sure did. Was that you humming out here? Yeah. We giraffes hum to each other. I wanted to show someone how I learned to reach really, really tall leaves now. Want to see? Oh! Uh, that's great, Gordy. We're here to take you back to your class, so you can show all of them, too. Well, school's almost over, and my mom will be coming to pick me up soon. She's gonna be so worried. D do you think we could get to school before my mom does? Uh-huh. Luckily, with such long legs, you giraffes are pretty speedy. Ready to run? Uh-huh. Yeah! <laughs> Gordy anywhere. Well, uh, there's something you should know. It's about Gordy. <sighs> Mom. Oh, guess what? Today I reached the best leaves all by myself. That's great, Gordy. <sighs> <sighs> Another creature case closed. I'm Agent Sam Snow, and I'm Agent Kid Casey. It's up to you now! 
Stay cool out there, Aiden. You can count on us, Director. <laughs> <laughs>